Whether you just bought your Apple Watch or you've been using your Apple Watch for the past many months, I can definitely say that this video will teach you something new about your Apple Watch, so make sure you watch till the end. All the ways that I use my Apple smartwatch. Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's Sherry here and today we're going to be talking about this baby over here which is my Apple Watch SE and I got her in gold in 40mm and she has been so helpful in uplifting my life, encouraging me to be fit, to be productive, to be more mindful. I'm going to be covering a lot of apps on the Apple Watch in the areas of productivity, mindfulness as well as entertainment so definitely make sure you watch till the end of the video because you don't want to miss anything out. With that being said, make sure you like, comment and subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you know the next time I post any video. If you are interested in watching other videos that I've made in relation to unboxing my iPad, my Apple Pencil, my Magic Keyboard and my Apple Watch itself, definitely make sure you watch those videos as well as other videos that I've made with all the apps that I use on my iPad and my phone. With that being said, let's jump straight into the video. Whether I'm washing the dishes or whether I'm packing my room or whether I'm doing a workout, I love listening to music because it keeps me on track and it's also a way for me to keep with the momentum and the rhythm of my workouts. So as long as you have a bunch of songs in your Apple Watch downloaded and ready to go or if you have Apple Music or if you have subscribed to Spotify, this is perfect for you especially paired with your AirPods and it's really been a game changer. So you can listen to your own albums, you can also listen to playlists that you have created with your phone or you can even listen to stations on Apple Radio. So I especially love listening to audiobooks when I'm running or when I'm travelling somewhere else. It's been very helpful for me to download podcasts either from Spotify, from Apple or from any other sources so that I can listen to it again when I'm doing my workouts or when I'm commuting from home to work or anything like that and it's been so so helpful for me. You can also try some other third party apps like Downcast, Overcast and just any other podcast apps that you may enjoy personally for yourself. Okay, now I'm on to my most favourite favourite feature of the Apple Watch and this is actually the main reason why I bought my Apple Watch. Track your workouts. This is by far my favourite way of using the Apple Watch and this is why I use on almost a daily basis whether I'm taking a walk from my house to the supermarket or whether I'm going for a jog or whether I'm doing a core workout or a yoga routine or any kind of workout to be honest I always track it with my Apple Watch and the best part about the Apple Watch stats is that it tells you the distance that you ran the number of active calories that you burned the number of total calories that you burned the specific duration of the workout it also tells you your average heart rate as well as your minimum and your highest heart rate in terms of a range there are so many specific workouts that you can also track. So for instance, you can also track outdoor walk, functional strength training, high intensity interval training, outdoor cycle, core training, elliptical, bar, indoor run, traditional strength training, indoor cycle, rowing machine, stair stepper, hiking, etc. etc. There are so many different ways for you to track your workouts. Or you can even just record your own free-flowing workout. And the best thing is that all these data will be synced into your phone so that you can actually take the time to scroll through all your different workouts that you've had. And if you're someone into fitness, this tool is extremely useful for you to track your progress, to give you a little bump in your motivation and also to just give you a sense of achievement. And of course, if you're serious about sports, you can definitely use these data to you know, help you to find out different areas that you need to improve on or different areas that you want to work on or different kinds of things that you may want to train yourself specifically on. Okay, so you can also use the built-in heart rate system that you have on your phone to monitor your heart rate. So this is actually really easy for you to do. When you go on your Apple Watch, you can click the Heart Shape app. It tells you the BPM of your current self, your resting rate, your walking average, your outdoor run, your recovery rate, your breathing rate. And if you're interested, there are also so many different third-party apps that will let you actually monitor your heart rate with more detail meditate and breathe. So there's this app on your Apple Watch called Breathe and when you click on it essentially it helps to you know monitor your breathing rate and encourages you to just breathe. You don't actually have to meditate but I love using this app function especially when I'm stressed out or especially after a run and I'm trying to clock in you know some minutes to meditate and just be more mindful and yeah literally that's it. So you can also see over time the stats that you have as to how many times you've breathed you know. 
Yeah, and just having it there is definitely a very helpful reminder to be more mindful and also to just take a chill pill and just breathe for a minute. Another feature of the Apple Watch that has been very very helpful for someone like me who is very forgetful and I keep misplacing my phone is that you can actually use your Apple Watch to find your iPhone so you can actually just use this function over here on your Apple Watch and it just starts pinging your iPhone no matter where you are so if you're on a rush and you're looking for your phone this has been very very helpful for me to find my iPhone instantaneously and to make sure that it's not lost Another very helpful feature of the Apple Watch is that I can use it for messages and for phone calls so if someone is calling me and I didn't bring my phone out I can basically just answer the phone call and I don't actually have to hold my phone I can just click answer and I can just talk out loud so it's very very convenient for me especially when I'm working out I don't really bring a phone or if I'm actually outside and I need to reply someone through message it's actually very very easy for me to reply someone on text message with my Apple Watch alone so it takes a little bit of getting used to to type on your Apple Watch but once you get used to it, trust me it's so helpful and so handy and you'll be using your phone significantly less Another way that I absolutely love using my Apple Watch is to track my sleep so the Apple Watch has actually their own built-in sleep tracker but for me I also use the app called Pillow and essentially it allows myself to track my sleeping patterns while I'm sleeping and it tells you the amount of REM hours that you've slept, the amount of light sleep that you've had and also the deep sleep that you've had and it's just very very interesting for you to monitor your own sleeping patterns and a very good way for you to document the hours of sleep that you've had in a week. There's another feature within the app that actually can let you know the audio sounds around you when you're sleeping. So if you're into sleep and if you really value your sleep like myself, I definitely think that the Apple Watch is very very helpful for you to track your own sleeping patterns. One of the first things that you want to do when you get an Apple Watch is to really optimize the Apple Watch face that you have. So for instance, there are so many different kinds of Apple Watch faces that you can choose from. Some of them are a lot more elegant looking and just look super classy. Some of them are very cute and funky and others are just very very informative. So for instance, if you're someone that is a businesswoman or a businessman and you need to know the time zone for other countries, you can also choose that kind of watch face so that you can see the time in other countries in other parts of the world or if you're someone that's really into fitness and working out you can actually immediately see you know things like your heart rate your activity level your movement level and your um, time that you spend standing up just at a glance other things that you can see if you're interested in space you can actually see how the solar system is placed out right now i can actually see it right now and also the orientation of the earth and the orientation of the moon so these are just very very fun features to have of course another thing that you can see on your watch face is the time so time is just obviously very important for a watch so you can definitely see all that as well and if you are someone into productivity you can also put your calendar up front so it always tells you what's the next item on your list coming up in your calendar so that you can always stay on track with your time and your task. So one of my favorite watch faces is the one that allows you to have shortcuts to the breathing app, the movement app, the fitness app, the health app, the heart rate app, and also of course the time and tells you the temperature and everything. So it's just a very very convenient watch face to have. Other ones that I like are you know the ones that shows you the Eiffel Tower because I always like seeing the Eiffel Tower since I grew up there. And I don't know, it's just you can actually put any picture that you want on your watch face as well. And again, there are so many other third party apps that you can use. Or you can also just use an image or a photo that you have in your phone and use that as your watch face directly. So if you want to be reminded of someone that you love, you can always put a picture that you have with them um, on your watch face. Not just of them, they'll be really really weird. Okay. Besides all the features that I've mentioned previously, I also use my Apple Watch to remind me to wash my hands for a specific period of time. So especially if COVID-19 is very very important for you to stay hy hygienic. Yeah, to stay hygienic and also stay clean. So basically every time I wash my hands, the watch will let me know whether I have completed 20 seconds of hand washing just to make sure that all the germs and the bacteria are off my hands. Okay, by far one of the most handy ways that I also use my Apple Watch is to use it as a clock, as a timer, as an alarm. So the clock function is so helpful for your workouts as well as for cooking especially. So if you need to set any kind of timers, any kind of alarms or any kind of um, you know, a stopwatch system, definitely the Apple Watch is super helpful and super handy because it's essentially a very helpful clock at your fingertips. Actually at your wrist, sorry. Yes, it's actually a very helpful clock at your wrist. I really hope that this video has inspired you to optimize your Apple Watch and also to learn a few tips and tricks about your Apple Watch. 
so that you can make the full most use out of it especially if you're a student or if you're someone into fitness. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that this video shed some light on some of the tips and tricks and the ways that I use my Apple Watch as a student, as someone that's into fitness and as someone that's into productivity. And if you have any extra tips and tricks or other ways that you use your Apple Watch, feel free to comment it down below. If you enjoyed this video, please do like, comment, subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know the next time I post a video. So thank you for Apple watching and see you next time. That was the cringiest way to end a video. I got so much back, I think I'm never running out, yeah. Bust me down a whip, bitch, I don't do this for no clout, hey. I got so much back, I think I'm never running.